Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're doing the second part of a two-part series on this machine here. It's a 325-amp inverter. It's called the 325EXT, and uh, we're trying to pre-qualify it to make it a Mr. TIG-approved power supply. So I want to get started. Uh, the second part of this is going to be on primary aluminum, and I'm going to do heavy, heavy, heavy aluminum. The fact that this goes up to 300-plus amps uh, I'm going to test out some 3 8 inch aluminum, and then I'm going to put on an inch and a half thick bar, and then I'm going to do some fillet welds as well as bead on plate. I want to do some long runs so I can get a good feel for the machine. So uh, stick with me. Uh, I've got a water-cooled torch on here. This is our uh, flex head, of course. It's a 300 amp torch, uh, so I want it to match this machine. It's a premium torch, and it's uh, obviously a CK, and it's got the nice leather velcro cover to it so uh, I have I have decked this thing out with the best of the best I've got under here a foot control it's an SSC foot control so I've tuned everything together I'm gonna put my gear on and uh, test this thing out
Okay, now I, I did three different wells, but I just want you to know that this metal has a lot of mass to it. I took two plates, and they're three eighths inch thick, and I started off and they were cold, and I did a, a lap weld, which is really a fillet weld. Now the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to test the guts out of this machine. So I set it on about 250, 260 amps. And I did this weld right here, and it was barely enough amperage with a cold part. And so then I went to a bead on plate, and I just wanted to see the cleaning activity, how much cleaning from one side to the other, or the adjustments accurate. You know, I'm, I'm on 70, I believe, 70% uh, negative. And so I'm looking at the edge of the weld to see, is it cleaning too much? Are the settings set the way that I like them towards other machines as well? So then what I did is I took a cold piece of inch and a half thick uh, aluminum bar. Again, the oxides are pretty heavy on this. So I want to let the machine do the work. I didn't want a pre-cleaned part. Uh, so I went over here and I started to weld and I didn't have enough amperage. So I went ahead and turned it up to uh, over 300 amps and made the weld, and it's about a six inch weld. It took me a couple of minutes to do it, but uh, the thing performed just absolutely excellent. I, I've got to say overall, um, I mean the wells, and you can judge the wells, we're gonna come down here and do some, uh, some close-ups for you, but it cleaned, it got the oxides off. Uh, you could see the cleaning activity taking place, but, but uh, anyway, this, this passes my test for the heavy aluminum. I did notice that in arc initiation, uh, there's just a little bit of roughness to it. Now, it's not enough to disqualify the machine. In fact, the roughness may, may be associated to my own setup. So uh, I'm not going to disqualify, and I'll let you look at these wells, and you can decide. But uh, this certainly has Mr. Tig's approval for these tests that I've been doing. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.